What's up, Wolf Act? Today is Tuesday, November 10th. I'm Josiah Edwards. And I'm Isabel Herman, and we're here with your distance learning announcements. Hey, Wolf Act, it's been super chill this weekend. Let's check out the weather with Isabel. What's up, Wolf Pack? I'm Isabel Herman, and I'm here with your weather update for the week. On Tuesday, which is today, we will be starting at a low of 62 degrees. Now, we will continue this trend for the rest of the week up until Monday when we will go up to 66 degrees. Now, for the lows of the week, we'll start in the high 30s and go all the way to the mid 40s on Monday. And we will be having cloudy and sunny weather on Wednesday and Thursday, but on Friday and Saturday, we will be having a small chance of rain, going back to the cloudy, sunny weather on Sunday and Monday. Thanks, guys. Jeez, looks like it's going to be a chilly week. Hey, Josiah, have you heard the news about California Adventure? No, I haven't. Let's hand it on over to Carson to tell us more about it. Hello, Wolfpack. I'm Carson Rees, and I have good news for all you Disney fans. On October 23rd, Disney announced that on November 19th, eight months after it closed, some of California Adventure will open. Since July, Downtown Disney has been open for outdoor dining and shopping. The same concept will be applied to Brenna Vista Street in California Adventure. Brenna Vista Street is located after the entrance of the park. Disney will require guests to wear a mask, have their temperature taken before entering, and practice social distancing. The shops and restaurants that will open are Elias and Company, Julius Katz and Sons, Kingswell Camera Shop, Trolley Treats, Smoke Jumpers Grill, Award Wieners, and Fiddler, Pfeiffer, and Practical Cafe. Due to Governor Newsom's restrictions that California theme parks can't reopen unless the county is in the yellow tier, and since Orange County is solidly in the red tier, the rest of the park, its rides, and Disneyland will remain closed. We don't know how long the resort will remain closed. We can only wish upon a star that it will open sooner rather than later. Hey, seniors. I know senior year hasn't been great for everybody, but have you heard? You guys will still be able to do your senior portraits. Here's Richard with more info. What's going on, Wolfpack? As you know, senior photos have been taking place, and I know there are many seniors out there who ended up missing their senior photos. Today, I'll be explaining the three different methods you can use to reschedule your appointments and some general information you should know about. You would like to reschedule the photos through your computer or phone. You want to first head to prestigeportraits.com, where you will then enter your city and state into the boxes. You can enter the eight-digit code as well if you received it in the mail, but if you did not receive the code or just don't remember it, you can use location boxes. Go ahead and click Go, select Kasumi Soaks High School, and type in your name. After that, fill out the rest of the information boxes to reschedule your appointment. However, if you are experiencing issues like I have here, where there are no appointments left, you can call Prestige themselves with the phone number on the screen. If they can't answer right away, be sure to leave your name, school, and the reason you called them, and they will try and call you back as soon as possible. Through personal experience, they may not even pick up and call you back either, so you may want to email to them to get to them. This ended up working for me, so if you want to try this method first, you may do so. If you guys believe that you are too busy to take senior photos this term, remember that the deadline to take your portraits is February 1st. Also now that these photos are meant to be quote special as they are your final school pictures during your senior year, be sure to wear something semi-formal. For example, you may want to consider wearing a simple button-up shirt, a polo, a blouse, or even a dress. Yearbook photos will be free by itself, however, if you would like to pay for more photos, the starting price will be set at $20 to $25. You will also only be able to bring one person with you as the photographers there will be social distancing with all the students. This person will be the person to do anything that will help you during your pictures, such as fixing your collar, hair, clothing, etc. That's all I have for you today, Wolfpack. Back to you, anchors. Thanks, Richard. I recently heard some information about some clubs at CO. Let's take a look at what Wyatt and Yash have to say. Hey, Wolfpack. I'm Wyatt Wiggins, and I'm ready to tell you about some clubs. If you, if you haven't known, there are some clubs doing extra clicking activities at school. If you're still wondering what clubs to join, I can let me introduce you to Jalen, the president of BSU, so he can tell you more about it. Take it away, Jalen. 
up, you guys? Jalen here, president of Black Student Union at Sumasos High School. Uh, BSU is an organization that was started a couple years ago in the foundation of the school, where it's an outlet for um, young white students and minorities and anybody that's diverse or feel that they're welcome to come to come and speak their mind and be in a uh, setting where they're always welcome, never going to be judged by anything. Here are the dates that the meetings will be held by clubs on Zoom. If you are interested in joining a meeting for a certain club, all you have to do to join is click Zoom meeting link, and that's it. Well, that's all I have for you today, Wolfpack. I am Wyatt Wiggins, and thank you, and back to you, Anchors. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Josiah Edwards, and remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Have, have a terrific, terrific Tuesday, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.